Boys Most Feared Tournament. Huge field, single elimination. We made a great run in the Ultimate Kickoff, obviously making the live event. So we got tons of points for Madden Bowl. A good finish here would be great for our Madden Bowl promises. So, like I said, we finished about around 100. Our ladders weren't that good for sure. We were up and down trying to find some different defense. Our defense is not good right now. Everybody's kind of overpowered on offense. But we are in a good spot. We got to win some games, make a good run again. Here we go, but we got matched up with our boy Deliverance. If you guys know, this was the Steelers club champion back in the day for a long time. Solid player for sure. Definitely going to be a handful going forward. And what I know about him is he's been running trips tight end for a long time, boys. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Be super bummer, dude. All right, here we go, boys. Uh, we are rocking Andrew Luck at quarterback. We are still rocking the West Coast playbook. We're rocking the 4-6 defensive playbook. All that stuff is on manturf.com. Those links are below if you guys want those ebooks or anything like that. They will be updated. New patch, I'm sure you guys will ask. I've only played the patch one night. I'm hard, not the guy to jump to conclusions. Played one night. Definitely nerfed a lot of blitzing, I'll tell you that. They definitely nerfed a lot of blitzing, but I'm currently cooking. We'll have something up real soon for all my Madden Turf members, everything. But let's get into this game. Like I said, Deliverance is a trips tight end guy. Trips tight end, one of the best offenses in the game right now, man. It's really hard to guard. Um, the tight end's unguardable. B route, verticals, uh, the corner route, and the running back at the end of the day is always the same. So let's get into it. Here we go. I am the higher seed. I am the home team. So let's check it out here. Boom. There it is. We are rocking the Sean Taylor jersey. We need a little bit of love. We need a little bit of luck here. But this is currently trips tight end. I'm going to run a little 3-3 wide, 3-3 cub, whatever it may be. Uh, I think going into this game, one of my philosophies in the whole tournament was don't give up big plays. Bend but don't break. A lot less cover zero unless I needed to because cover zero, especially against trips tight end, uh, corner out the Tyreek, verticals the Tyreek. We might even have coming down here. We might have the tight end has a deep post route over the middle that's really hard to stop. So for me, I wanted to go into this game the least amount of big plays as I possibly could. So we'll see if I want to run a little cover four here to start or just man. When I run man on trips tight end, what I like to do is keep all these guys manned up and then put this safety here in a deep half. Just don't give up any streaks. I'm telling you. I want to play really, really safe. I don't think um, there. See, you guys see it. We're three man rush right out the gate. Cover three. I got the running back. We're going to get, I mean, great coverage right here. Just great. Safe. Three man rush. He blocks. He has nothing doing right there. So we like that for sure. And that's what you're going to see a lot of for the most part. Now we get the second down. I'm going to try to go with a little more loop here. First down defense was safe. And now, you know, second and 10. If I can get a sack here, big play, that would be, that'd be huge. He goes to the U trips, which you, if you guys have been watching me play U trips, is it's another tough formation to stop. So obviously he's in New England playbook, New England defense, uh, and he's able to do a little whip route, this post route, boom. And that, this what I this what makes the game tough right now. I mean, these same loops really just don't really work like that. You know, we get. I mean, he's got just a double team here. He's got this guy who's in a contain, and then he's got. This guy looping around. So, I mean, we get a little bit of pressure, but we just can't guard this guy. And uh, one thing that I know when I do this play, uh, I know that I have a purple zone over here. I have a deep blue over here. Uh, you know, I, I lurk the shorter route, but because I know I have a little more coverage to make a tackle here. Now, this is going to be a 20-yard game, but if I, if I give up the slant with no deep blue or anybody over here, this could be a bigger play for the most part. Now, this is, I mean, obviously is a, you know, 25-yard play right there. So, that's... That's tough, but at the end of the day, I knew I had extra zones on that side, so my lurk, I went to the left side to take away the slant because I didn't have a lot of tacklers over there. That's what I, I that's what I kind of think of them as, tacklers for the most part. Uh, here he goes. He mixes in a little run. We make the play with Sean T. So even though we're trying to loop, we're trying to do a little loop action, we definitely keep in a lot of deep blues on the field. I don't want to give up a streak. I don't want to give up uh, a pulse route, anything like that. If I can get him to inside the 20, hopefully we can buckle up, we can strap up and make him kick a field goal. That would be huge. Right here, uh, I know, man, this is just so inconsistent here. I mean, he, we're, he's going to motion block. So he's going to go max protected. When they go max protected, it's always the corner route. And our boy over here, 
Look at the job we do on the corner route here. 31 Cromartie, great job. Post route, boom, I'm guarding that. So this is where you would love to, wish I would alert the, the slant right there, but Ramsey gets beat. And this is something, I mean, this is just another tip uh, I'd love to give you guys here, man. But, okay, Ramsey's whooped, right? I know Ramsey's whooped. Right here, Ramsey's whooped. Now, what I'm going to do is click on Ramsey. Instead of trying to make the play, we're going to just change his angle. We're going to change his angle so we don't, because if we get a good rack here, you see there's one deep blue in the middle. A good rack could be, I mean, almost touchdown. So what, if you guys watch what I do here, I click on and then just change his angle. So he doesn't give up. What I'll do, I'll click on and then just start jetting towards the pylon. See, see that right there, that little click on, just to get Ramsey ahead of the angle so he can make this tackle and cut him off there. If I don't click on here, he might he might outrun Ramsey to the goal line. One juke could be a touchdown. So, like I said, we got dotted, but we made a play right there, made a tackle, uh, mixing up the run. Thank God he's running right now. Right now he's kind of having, and somehow that was six yards. That's tough. That's tough. So, once again, when they motion block like this, it's probably a corner route. And I have nobody on, the, no zones or anything for the corner route. But he goes with a little run. And we get, we actually get the stop right there. Does he know huddle? Because that was really quick. He does know huddle right to the line. I said, I'm going to press here. This is a third, he quick snaps. Just got guard the running back angle. And we're able to get pressure right there. He quick snaps, curl flat. So, runs doesn't get a lot of yards he comes up to the line and he quick snaps curl flat we actually get a perfect loop off the edge here with micah and he gets hit when he throws the ball incomplete now i want to say i believe he comes out to go for this and he audibles around and i think i honestly think i was maybe this is later in the drive oh, i think he does go for this but he goes back to u trips here i'm just going to go a lot of times fourth down i'll just dumb it out like i won't have a lot of zones or anything we're just going to go two man we're just going to go man coverage here 100 we're just going man coverage i know it's probably whip route to the tight end slant to calvin in the slot post to jerry rice i know that but it's like so i'm just going to blitz yeah same thing that was a great i mean that's a great mix up that was a great mix up right there with a little curl on the outside i mean he actually dominated tyree kill so we're going to blitz and we're going to take away the first read. That's what I always like doing like, you know, we're just going to take away the first read whip route to the tight end. Uh, one, we don't get a lot of pressure. We take away the whip route. He has slant. He has post, but he goes curl. And wow, that's on press coverage. Tyree kill on Cromartie. Curls are really good, man. If you guys aren't using curls against man, against zone, everything really good. So that's tough. That's a tough play to give up. I talked about bending and not breaking and, uh, here we are. This is where we want to be as far as that's concerned. Bending and not breaking. Trips tight end. Um, now, my t my defense in this tournament was really good inside the 10. You guys will see that as we go. One thing I liked, what, I, what I've what i kind of gone to in the red zone is this cover four. I'll show you guys. And I, I like it a lot. It's just a little cover four. And what I do is I'll put my safeties in yellow zones. And we get a sack right there, Troy P. So, I, and now I get a little bit too far away from the goal line to do this. Uh, this is more of an inside the 10 defense where you don't have to worry about deep middle as much. Uh, so I'll, I'll run cover four. I'll run baseline, turn match off so you guys aren't matching. And here, I don't, I don't think I'll put yellow zones here because we're just a little bit too close. Yeah, I'll keep them in deep blues. But if you guys see, like, it's just cover four here. Hard flats. I might actually play the sticks here. What that means is instead of being clouds, these flats will drop back right to 15 yards, right to the two-yard line. Second and 15, I don't really like doing that, though, because a drag can then get, you know, get them to third and two. I almost like to stay hard flats. I don't really remember what I did here. We'll find out. But I feel like if you go cloud flats, if you shade up, you're just going to give the easiest completion to be able to get into third and short here. But, you know, if you, if you play hard flats here, you can take away a short pass. And hopefully things happen here. And I think we are hard flatted. And he has the corner route, I think. It would have been tough throw on cover four. I don't know if our boy out here, what's his name, Joey Porter Jr., would make this play or help me. Right here. Yeah, that's probably a touchdown, really. And this is what goes into playing hard flat. So I play hard flats a little bit more aggressive here. Guys are down here. And this dude is open right here. Maybe this is a spot where I should have double mabled. 
17 yard line is tough to play defense, but we got we actually get a shed and he doesn't like it. He gets hit with the quarterback. Could have used the fumble. But now we get third and 11. I'm going to do the same thing. Bring these guys down here. Cover four. I think I'm going to flip with this. Yep. Now bunch look. Bunch is verticals. Bunch is verticals. Bunch is verticals. Alert, alert, alert. Man up the tight end. We didn't. Oh, we actually got lucky right there in that. Good job. And we hold. But right here, my match is still on here. So, the, so, the, so what happens is it looks like he's about to be open. But then the corner comes in here and makes a play. So then this guy right here is probably the read, but you know, he's under a little bit of pressure and it's tough to make reads down here. That's why red zone is so tough. He's going to slide. He's going to no huddle though. I realized that play that my match is still on. Now I realize that my match is still on from that play, from what happened on that play. I don't want match on and cover four. I don't, but to cancel that, you can play the sticks. I know there's a way to like reset your play. I don't really know how to do it to cancel your zone drops. So, Right here, we're fourth and four. Now, I know I can play the sticks to stop the match on my outside quarters. I know I can do that. Now, in a perfect world, I probably should have just put my outside quarters into thirds. But I didn't want to play sticks because I thought bringing my yellow zones and my flat zones down to the four, you know, right there to the, what is it, the two-yard line would leave the entire end zone open. So I didn't want to do that. So I didn't want to play sticks right here. This is a huge play in the game. Uh, and you know what? That's what I'm thinking about. I don't want to play sticks, and I call timeout. You guys know I don't really use timeouts that often, uh, but he kicks the field goal after that, so he kind of shriveled up a little bit after the field goal. So not the best defensive drive to start, but I know what I'm getting myself into. So I didn't want to run match, so that was a good timeout. I, you know, I'm glad he kicked the field goal because I feel like I should be able to score touchdowns. Uh, like I said, I'm in the West Coast offense. He's in 3-3 Cub right here. This looks like man coverage at least. When you come out, it looks like the, uh, at least the, the look of it, and we lose three yards on the run. That's always good. You know, and what I like to do is come out in man coverage and then do adjustments here. But you see right here, it's just cover four, and we get crazy shedded by three people. I don't know what. Sometimes the three-man shed is OP. Sometimes it's not. So just cover four here. He mans up the tight end. We get shedded instantly by this guy. My running back is in La La Land. So he has he has purples here on like five. Man of the tight end. Cover four. So I'm going to have B once he gets by this purple zone. But, you know, we get shedded there. And I slide a little bit to the right. But then this guy, this guy's getting in there too. So we get hit. You know, actually, I think he just kept the three rack right there. Interesting. Because where the hell is 21? This is nuts. These are two five-yard purples, and they squeeze on this drag right here. I can't believe Sean Taylor is still here when he could have guarded the flat. You know, he leaves X open. But so we get a third and 13 early here, boys. Third and 13. Now, this is where I feel like the game, I was kind of relieved. This is obviously my defense I ran in the first tournament. Nickel blitz, shift the linebackers over. We're trying to loop. We're trying to get pressure. So for me, I'm like, okay, this is, this is good. Now, I know the weakness of this. Audible flip, audible flip, motion, audible flip. You're going to be in hell. You're going to be in absolute hell. Speaking of hell, we get hit right there. We get looped. And you got to see what happened. What is he doing to account for the flat pass, really? What is he doing to account for a quick flat? We get looped. He mans up here. He deep blues everybody. And then we had the corner route. But we get hit. So early we get a fourth and 13. Like, I mean, damn. We're up against it right now. Now, this is a play uh, Skimbo really put me on this play lately is just drag streak running back wheel route because who's manned up on the running back on this play? It's nobody. Nobody has to man up on the running back. So he might run. He's already. We flip. I'm telling you, we got him. Just just be obnoxious. Flip running back wheel block the tight end flip put the running back on the other side. He's got to guard the running back or he mans up the running back on the safety all the way over here. And we're able to hit the hit our boy Bo out of bounds just like that. Just be annoying. Like, like I said, when you run a defense, you know what pretty much what the weaknesses are. And I know that <laughs> consistently flipping, consistently moving your running back and audible and is a pain. And hitting those flat routes, there's nobody out there to guard it. So for me, that's what I'm going to do. We start right here, but now he's back in the cub. So now he's back in cover four. This is one of the best defenses in the game right now. Just cover four. 
but that time we spread them out we go with a crosser back with the halfback angle route just a great zone combination we get a first down so uh we're getting a vibe early that when he's in cub he's just going to be in cover four and then when he gets into a big passing down he's going to go to the nickel blitz loop out of three three which you know we know what to do against that here we're going for a big play here we're going for the post it's first down take a shot uh one of the biggest reasons with this this player one of the things you have to do with this play is make their user not guard the post so what route can you put in the middle of the field to not guard the post so me i just got this running back uh underneath route he does step up on it a little bit but not enough and you see he's running into two players here we step up beautifully right here and we're able to take off just get a couple yards so not that much but let him know that post route is there and now he's got to worry about it. now we're looking for a tight end tight end corner route here motion out is cover for you got to motion out if you want to throw corner routes you need that streak to clear out so we're looking for the tight end corner route. he rushes five here oh we get smoked on an under pressure yeah i could have yeah this is bad by me i, I could have just stopped and not dropped back anymore like right here just stay there but that one step helped that contain on the right disengage gronk is open for a big play but we get disengaged third and four i mean it's not really rocket science here it's going to be cover four again he's not exactly you know we're going to run the ball here soft call but what i thought was just i i'm going four down territory here he's going to be all in coverage he's not blitzing so i feel like i could have got this you know probably pass committing to and we actually get really good blocks and we get out and we get a first down good call uh looking back uh you know definitely was four down territory for me here we go we're going deep attack here i mean just shedding me again wheel route boom touchdown nice big play right here look at the sheds on that three man right there now what he's doing right now is he's putting sean taylor the linebacker here in a three rack of bluff blitz so maybe that's helping his pass rush as i watch this back but here we go this is just cover two flat or purple purple flat flat cover two a b route is going to take the deep half to the middle of the field and we will throw to bo jackson high ball end to the sideline big catch by bo touchdown just a great play for that cover two right there so we get seven three looking good feeling great now I feel like we can less play to run a little bit less here. And we give up our patented verticals. This is why it's so tough to play against trips tight end and have to guard the running back because <clears throat> it takes my user all the way out of the play. Man, man, look, man, 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 deep half. This could have been deep third and then it could have been better, but just way too easy. Now, <clears throat> the best thing about this is that we don't give up a touchdown beautiful i hate giving up that play though but so this goes back to my red zone defense here i love it um we're going to go yellow yellow on the safeties hard flats cover four and we just get ran in so easy this is what's killing me right now it's just like how is this this easy of a run in i guess i shoot the left a gap instead of the right a gap and nobody sheds and Dion is in la la land and so we give up an easy touchdown it's bad defense but we get the ball at half we got a two minute drive right here we're feeling good we're looking good three man rush this time not as much like this is a this is a throw i'm i'm if i'm playing head to head on a saturday night i i 100 am throwing this ball to bo jackson like right here high ball or something but you know it's first down it is the most feared tournament i'm not throwing anything like that right away all right so here he goes he's back in the nickel blitz now honestly as i'm watching this game back I'm, i mean this is probably his worst decision was to go to the nickel blitz because we block it so easily we have the tight end wide we have a slant coming across we hit tyreek hill in the flat this is what Tyreek Hill does. Two-minute warning. <clears throat> Once again, we're going to go for a run here. Now, this is something I got to look into, is that Tyreek Hill just got blurred by Sean Taylor on the block, which he should. It's Tyreek Hill. Next play again. 
I guess he's in cub here, cover four. No. Nickel blitz again, we're gonna quick snap. He's actually able to zone out every single person right here at all. Drag, running back in route, crossing route here, boom. We put the ball on Calvin Johnson. We're in field goal range, we got a tie. This is what my mind thinks. We have a tie already, because we're in field goal range. We're looking good. So I run the next play, that's exactly what it is. How can I use some time here? I got two timeouts. Time is not an issue at all for me. We're going to pop a little run here. Take it outside. He gets a bad dive. Another bad dive. And <laughs> we actually pick up seven yards right there. So I'm going to use some of this clock now. Because even if I tie the game up, we get to double dip the chip. Ball coming out of half would be great. Another run. And this time it gets blurred. That's tough. And he's going to use the timeout. 44 seconds this is a big third down a big one if i hit this third down we're going to be able to run out the, the first half if i don't we're going to have to kick here so here we go we're going to run this play again we're going to flip now what you guys got to remember here he called timeout what does that mean it extends my play clock to 40 seconds because he called timeout so what am i going to do for 40 seconds circ them and jerk them boys this is what we're going to do flip audible motion flip hot route audible I am going to be a pain in the ass for this entire 40 seconds. If you want to run cover zero loop, I am going to be a pain in the ass for 40 seconds. And I know that because you call timeout. Normally, you only get about 15 seconds to flip an audible and hot route. But when somebody calls timeout, you get 40 seconds. So, all right, what am I at? 30 seconds out. Let me see where I'm at. 30 C45. Look at my play clock. 42 seconds. So, yeah. You're getting put in the ringer here, dude. That's what's going to happen. So we're coming out here to the line. Okay. Motion this guy over here. He's got to do something about guarding and running back. Here we go. Flip. Run this play again. Put the running back on the wheel route. Motion the running back over here. ID the guy on the left. We block it up beautifully. Step up. Tyreek Hill drops it, though. This is one thing that is a pain right here. And I'll watch if I had anybody else. I don't think I did. Maybe the streak. But when you block the tight end, right, the man coverage then becomes spies. And then they just hit Tyree Kill right here. Obviously, I probably had the running back. But, I mean, he's kind of running to it. Calvin might have been a lob streak to the back of the end zone. But if they don't hit these spies... Tyreek wins right here on the drag, but he did a good job of guarding that. So, after all that, we got to kick our field goal anyway. Big 36 seconds here. Big 36 seconds. You know, we're, we're playing safe right away. I put a purple zone over there just for the out route. Now, this is a terrible play. I'm not going to give this up, you know. Waste of six seconds, honestly. Now, he's back in the U-trips here. Now, U-trips is tough here. Now, we're just going to run cover th cover three here, safe as can be. Now, I got to know when he motions somebody, I, I got a baseline, but he's not going to motion anybody. We get a little contained. Actually, this is a great play. Did not expect that play. I don't know why he chose to run that play, but a corner route against that cover three really worked. So, he's got 24 seconds here. One timeout. One dot. He's in field goal range. Not even. He can almost even run here, but... He really hasn't run much at all, especially not out of trips tight end. So I'm not worried about the run. Like I said, I have this I have this purple zone. If the running back goes on that out route to the left, then I can guard the middle of the field. I had this deep, these two halves right here. Middle of the field is kind of open, but I'm hoping my guys can hold up in man coverage here. He's definitely going corner route here. When they motion block like that, they're going corner route. Nine times out of ten. So what do I do? I'm going to put my outside guy in a, when he starts motioning him like this. Now, I would love to make sure he doesn't go in motion, like touch him, pause, and make sure he doesn't go in motion with him. But then I'll, court, I'll quarter him real hat, real quickly. So hopefully we have man coverage on Tyreek. We got a deep half. We got a purple. We got a quarter. Uh, I hope he can't throw a corner out here, boys. And we're shaded outside, by the way, through all that. So, I mean, he didn't even do a corner out, but... If we did, we had some covers for it. This is a this is a good play though, because like I said, I gotta guard the running back on a wheel, and I guard the running back. We get no sheds. Could be a touchdown if I was too greedy with the quarterback. So I gotta run with him, and let him get some yards. So he's in field goal range. That's tough. Still has his timeout. This is definitely a run situation where he could run and get out and just call his timeout and kick his field goal. 
Motion again. I'm I don't do the same thing this time. I mean he just like there's no point in even throwing anything that's not a touchdown really right here. I'm just you see my user is no touchdown. This is the no touchdown user. I'm not worried about a running back angle route right now. He's already in field goal range. I'm not worried about a drag, a slant. I am touchdown or nothing here. That's all I'm trying to take away. Third and one here. I said I, I would probably run the ball here, honestly, just to get my field goal. Same thing. We're all over. He throws the ball away. Kicks his field goal. So, I mean, dude, we're down 13 to 10. Hasn't been the best. Hasn't been the best uh, half here. Hasn't been the worst, though. We can definitely fight this. We're going to try to dump the ball up here to Bo Jackson. We get a catch. Wish I could make some plays. So, halftime. But this is why you get the ball at half so you can do something with it in the second half. Right now, back in his cover four. This is just cover four. Now, this is a play I really haven't run a lot this year. But you know what? I'm going to break it out because why not? Why not this play right now? Why not? Pulse route to Calvin. Let's see if it develops the way I want. I mean, he kind of lurks it. So we go come back route to Mike Evans. I mean, would it have been open? I mean, this is just the corner route and corner strike motioned over. That was a good dot. Started off. Now he's back in the nickel blitz. So what are we going to do? This time we're going for a quick snap. Ooh, we... Oh, we had so much right there. One, this is stick. So when he runs cover two like this, I never expect this guy is supposed to go like 15 yards. So I never expect him to go up the field like this. Like this is outrageous. Obviously, if I was ready for that, I would be as wide open. But we also got RB. He ran cover two. He covered two bunch right there. So mental note. We tried a little quick snap there. This time. And then we go right back to it. Are you going to run cover two again? So this is why I ran this play. If you're going to run cover two, it's a touchdown. Nah, he doesn't that time, no. So we're just going to take off, get some yards. All right. So once again, we'll go back to this setup, this play right here. The running back wheel route motioned over. We're going to get blocking. Our tight end is blocked. What does he do? Only a three-man rush here. And that time, boom, little touch on the ball. Beautiful. Who does he man up this time on the tight end? Is this Sean Taylor right there or on the running back? No, across the field. Look, this guy came from across the field on the running back. Can't do that. That's not going to be good enough. A little touch pass, possession catch, bow. So we're in field goal range. We have the game tied already. He's back running this. Want to try to pop a little run here. Decent, decent, decent. Any positive yards is a positive play on the run game in bunch. Dump the ball off the running back. Get a first down. We're cooking with gas right here. We got him back in his cover four, three-man rush. Don't really like too much here, but we got the pocket. We got the pocket. We're under control. We're not going to do any mistakes here. No mistakes. Now, one thing I, I know about this game, all right? Now, I know this as the play is breaking down. He sent, look, so, all right, we're going to just go to this play because sorry if I'm there now, boys. If you guys like this, please let me know in the comments, but... It's a three-man rush, right? It's just, just literally cover four. Double Mabel here. He's got clouds. He's got purples. He's got a yellow right here. Three-man rush. And he sends this guy. So you see him send this guy in the pocket. Now, I know for a fact, obviously, RB is open. People are open. It's, just, it's a broken play. You can't trust anybody. This is a big game. I'm not just chucking the people. I hope we're going to be open and stay where they are. But I know as I get out here that... He's trying to click in the right stick again and get these guys to chase the quarterback. But a lot of times, once you click it once, the second time doesn't work. So I know I have this sideline right now. I know him clicking the stick will not work, and these guys will not chase me. So I just lower my head, full send it, and we pick up 10 yards. There it is right there. Good pocket. That's one of those three-man rushes that glitches out and never gets home. I, I swear there's like no in-between. The three-man rush is either Zeus or it's damn a, a lamb in the field. You know, It just does nothing. All right, so here we are. We're inside the 10. He doesn't baseline, so we try to get a stretch off. And Gronkowski, I, this is why I use Gronkowski, uh, you know, over Shannon Sharp at the time. You know, can we hold this block right here? Can we hold this block? Gronkowski against Sean Taylor. You know, if we hold this block, we were able to get to here where we could possibly juke, but we don't hold the block. We just get shedded instantly. That's tough. And here we're going to run our end around here. Skimbo put me on this. 
that it works a little bit far away for the end of the round but once again where is gronk going dude gronk if you block sean taylor again here oh that's not it is sean taylor then we i mean we might score on that but we don't third and goal man this is a big play this is a big spot uh what do we cook up probably one of my favorite plays right now I mean, you guys seen this all year. Flat route, whip route. I'm going to have a, a little spot in the zones and the man here over right over top of the bunch. We're going to have the in, the in route coming with Tyree Kill. We're going to have wheel route to bow and maybe a post backside, maybe. But I really want Gronk right here. As you see, it breaks down. The post gets bumped a little bit. We do have the post. Uh, this is a lot going on here, but Gronk is kind of open, but this guy's dropping in a spot. Uh, the in route three-man rush this is nasty but we catch the dotty we catch the dotty right there <clears throat> beautiful right here his users like too committed to the right he really is too committed to the right I see Sean Taylor right here but this is why you always have a flat route to make sure Sean Taylor stays out to the left this is a laser absolute laser possession catch huge play in the game huge dot when i needed it the most get seven right there we're up by four boom we double dip the chip field goal before half seven out of half 17 to 13 that's a big boy play right there that is a game winning that is a madden winning play <clears throat> i'm gonna go to two man under out of dollar here we're just trying to mix it up we're getting kind of dotted i think we are yeah two man under out of dollar i've, I've played people if you guys have watched me all year, then especially trips tight end guys, once I go to two man under, they start shaking. They, they don't like it, especially the dollar with this little loop. It's really good. It was really good. The patch got rid of loop. So, but at the time it was really good right here. You know, as we get, you guys see, it has been the best loop for me all year. The dollar two man under has won me a lot of games. Some people really struggle against it. Some people are really good against it, but some people suck against it. So like every defense i gotta give him a different look he's moving the ball a little bit too well for my liking once again look at the look at the man coverage out of two man under so much better man coverage out of two man under now the post is open for sure but i'm anticipating one of these other routes being open and this is piss poor defense by me the quarterback's going this way when the quarterback goes one way your user should go the side the quarterback goes really i don't even know like i am absolutely just trolling right now i know what play is coming i know what's going to happen I, this is absolutely troll right here. Soon as this happens, I gotta stay post, stay post, stay post, stay post. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. But luckily, he gets the out of pocket over throw. Cheat him. Yeah, when you like when you're out of the pocket, sometimes like see when you're out of the tackle box, tackle box is probably middle of the field. You'll get these random random overthrows. They want you to use roaming dead eye. <clears throat> So that was good. That was a troll job defensively with my user troll. So now we're gonna try to get a little double loop pop in here. <clears throat> Let me see what I do here. All right, we're gonna put a cloud just for that tight end whip route or any whip route, anything, or the corner route to Calvin. Once again, it's gonna be the same thing. Post to Jerry Rice, we're shaded inside on him. That route is really good. You're not gonna guard it. And I put a vert hook there. We're pretty much covered two on the left. He gets good blocking here. I lied. He doesn't get good blocking. So that's what I mean. Two man under, but these little adjustments help you. We get a crazy loop. His running back's going over here. I mean, he has good blocking. He just drops back into it. If he would step up right into this double team and right to where 74 is and climb the pocket, he has all day, but he, he doesn't. Honestly, it was great defense on the field. And we get a turnover. Huge huge turnover on downs went to the two man under gotta stop you know that's one thing like i'm not i'm not stubborn in my madden style to get to the point where like i'm going to run the same defense every every drive no matter what that's never been me i will definitely madden player it up and just change it up randomly here we're going to go this has been one of my favorite plays all year especially against zone uh it's inside cross here we'll look on whip route if this is a deep blue streak we got two routes in the middle of the field crossing each other and then we got a wheel route to the tight end so this is a great three-man rush coverage defense play i got a four-man rush here and i throw that and i'm pissed because i missed the tight end you know but it gave me a little bit of pressure i had to roll to the right just a little bit here 
but a tight end is the throw but i'm a little bit far away from the tight end here i am whip route looks open too but i, I was eyeing down like the middle of the field here all right so we get third and 12 here i'm going to run it back same play because i saw what i saw and i liked it this time it's three-man rush this time we have time we're able to step up in the pocket same thing this time we make the read so all you guys at home you miss this guy you miss that guy you miss that i know what i miss i see the field and one of the biggest suggestions i can give you when a play is over look at the field like look at the field like even when you get sacked or you throw the ball away look at the rest of the field you were eyeing down one part of the field but when you throw the ball away or you throw the ball to that player look at the rest of the field what player are they running this wasn't a looking at the stream thing because i played on a delay here to the point where i so people can't watch my screen i played on like a minute delay so it's just literally just experience a man and just looking at what the play is and coming back to that same play so like i said i run it this second down I see the play. I have to roll right a little bit. I see this developing, but I'm hoping this guy drops back far enough for me to throw to the running back. Now, this is another thing is that when you drift away from the throw, the throw is in the air longer. The defense can react faster because, the, I mean, now this is a dump off. He's only four yards from the line of scrimmage, but we're making this a 30-yard pass because of where I throw from here to here. This is a far distance. And so this cloud right here, which might have been on 15 yards, can come down and make the play right there another thing this wasn't that good of a throw wasn't that good of a read and because of that i have to hit y to come aggressively catch the football so that db cannot make a play and jump through my body for an interception you know like when you throw this ball like right here you're dead like this is not going to be a positive play it's not you just have to make sure it's not a turnover so you're going to hold y come back and catch the ball boom so and when you throw that ball Especially because I threw right to where right to where I saw what was open, right? So I'm looking middle, looking middle. He takes the in route. I'm going to check back down on my running back. I throw that. I say, damn, look at Gronk. He's wide open. This is what causes me to run the play right back. I'm going to run the same play. And honestly, it's not an all or nothing play. You have all the options on the field. So if he does cover Gronk, I can hit one of these check downs and kick a field goal. But we're able to step up beautifully. Boom. Gronk touchdown 24 to 13 fourth quarters up out we're, we're we're you know the gels in the fridge and we're going back to the two man under probably my my best trip tight end defense all year uh is it great no but we're getting such good loop here we get a sack boom now i know that one oh this is this is you trips now this is what i would love to do against you trips is that we're going to run this now because i know the the guys on the right just goes on slants and things like that they don't have a deep post the solo guy goes on the little 15 20 yard post that i want to lurk but i have to put some coverage on the left for all the guys that go from the right to the left so this is ideally what i would do uh coverage wise against you trips but i still want to loop so i'm gonna i'm gonna sit on ramsey here i know he can't see where my user is right so i'm gonna sit on ramsey or am i i don't know maybe i just blitz ramsey no i don't i right, just want to rush three here yeah we just want to rush three he blocks the whole crib this is the beauty of a blitz he blocks everybody we drop out rushing three i'm able to take that post route now he's going to scramble but at this point <clears throat> what are you going to do right all right now here we go this is such a good play here. This is such a beautiful play. This is so, oh, he throws that pick Palomalo, but like, God, it's just so much little shit that I, I it really is like. I'm sorry to nerd out, boys, but this is why you guys watch these videos. Here we at? Where are we? All right, so back to cover two. Now here, he can run verticals. So what I'm gonna do is run third, third, half, right? So nobody's on Calvin. So I don't want him to run verticals with Jerry Rice down the middle of the field. But he's going to put this guy in motion. And normally, Joey Porter Jr. would travel with him. But I clicked on Joey Porter Jr. to keep this third right here. If I if I wanted to click on him and move him a little bit, then he would have followed Calvin to the middle. We talked about that earlier in the game. So now he motion blocks. And he tries to run a corner route. And Joey Porter Jr. is right there to help guard it. 
tight end is kind of open but we have a third this man coverage is really good right now if i click in the right stick this guy will chase the quarterback i don't want to do that too early because then he can hit the drag i just got to stay disciplined here on the running back i know i have a half rolling over i do click in the stick right there and we we could have got a pick but we don't actually caught that wow that's tough this is why Palomalu should never be on your field, huh? And he caught it. I probably could have swatted that, but it's such a bad pass. Madden tendencies, dude. I'm going for a pick. That's what happens here. All right, here we go. Once again, time. I, I anything inbounds is fine. I have no problem doing, giving up something inbounds here. He goes for a block. Wow, we got bumped to hell right there. Now, I made a mistake here by putting this outside guy in a flat, thinking it would do something. A hard flat at that. I don't know if my zone drops are on. They aren't. This is bad defense, but we just get a, cl a cluster fuck right here. And he has, he has the, I mean, he has the corner off for a touchdown. I don't know what else he's looking at here. I really don't. But sometimes when you have, like, a cluster fuck like that, where they bump into, like, you don't just, don't, you just don't trust it. I don't know why I went flat right there instead of that third. Yeah. And he's under pressure. Gets sacked. So, I mean, he's not the greatest player of all time. I'll tell you that. Here we go. Back to this cover four defense that I run all in the red zone. I said, I know I have quarters on the outside for the deep corners, hard flats, and two yellows, and a spy here. I got to get the deep middle of the field here on this defense. So, you see where my user is. We go ahead and get a shed there. We're going to run the same thing. Like I said, this time of the game, I don't anticipate him running, so I'm able to pass commit. I'm able to keep a spy out there. I got deep middle, nothing else. Boom, and we get a hit. Fourth and four. He's going to kick, make it a one-possession game. Uh, I love this lead in football here because even if I, you know, the worst-case scenario, it'll be tied. So the eight-point lead is good. We're going for a one-play touchdown here, right, right first play. We do get looped. We're going to have a one-play touchdown on Tyree Kill. If we can somehow... Get somebody to block Lawrence Taylor. This is all I'm looking at. Like when I snap the ball, I see the I see the zero coverage. Obviously, this is a zero coverage look. So if I can quick snap the ball, I'm gonna get zero coverage. So we can't do adjustments. So we just try to ID left to come out left here. And I'm gonna watch Palomalu. And Palomalu squats. He doesn't run back at all. That means he's in man coverage. Then I'll look. Uh, is there anybody else dropping in zone? No, it's just straight cover zero. Can we get a block here? We don't. Now I got to step up like a madman. And we got him to we got him to just block a little bit because we stepped up. Step up, step up. Be able to throw the ball over his head. I'm trying to get rid of the ball. But we get sacked by 99. I don't know if it's Warren Sapp. He gets a sack. But I tell people all the time, man, we got sacked. But how many yards did we lose? One. I mean, I could have ran and lost one yard there. So here we go. We might try to pop a run here. Or we might. Oh, we're trying to go it again. Are you going to run the cover zero again? No. This time, you see the biggest difference. It's still man coverage here, but he makes one adjustment that he saw on the last play, and he's going to put a deep blue on his safety here, or on his linebacker. And once I saw this linebacker bailing, I didn't want the streak anymore. Just all out coverage, really, and we're able to step up and get a couple. I mean, not the most productive plays here when we want to get a first down to end the game for the most part, but third and six. <clears throat> we're going to go back to this man beater, this cover zero man beater here. How are you going to guard the running back here? He's going to try to use the running back, drag the Tyreek, stay in bounds, fall down, two-minute warning. He's going to use a timeout. That's good. We're ending them timeouts early. We go quick snap here, drag the Tyreek. No, we get under pressure. You know, we're just trying to quick snap the ball here. The clock's not running, so banging a quick snap. Cal if Calvin was on a streak, but he's not. So we get looped. I'm living with that nine times out of ten. I don't know what we're doing here. Are we cooking? Are we cooking? This is just can't be the play here. Oh, it is because he just refuses to guard the running back. And now the game's over. Now the game 100% is over. Once you get in the field goal range... He just refuses to guard the running back. Really was the whole game him refusing to guard the running back. So now you're in field goal range. We're on conservative. I doubt I even throw the ball again. We run the ball there. He has no timeouts left. We're going to get in the stretch. We're going to get low. Run again. Third and 14. 
<clears throat> flip run the ball again literally we don't even care about first down i'll run 30 seconds off the clock game is cooked just don't want to lose too many yards come out here we, we we run the clock all the way down to zero we don't mess around there's no kicking the ball at three seconds we're going to take every second of this clock right here one second half second timeout you know just so we don't lose yards i probably could have took a delay but it's just a further field goal why even do that we kick the field goal we're up by we're up by what 11 points right now the game is over as long as i don't give up a big play which is possible so we're going to do a lot of deep blues here and pray to the sweet baby jesus that we don't give up a big play you know i really don't care what happens look how good look how good two man under guards that drag though i know you guys are pissed and get so mad at tight end drags in a trips tight end but watch the drag wow he blocks everybody just goes nothing he has nothing out here never mind he's the greatest player of all time as he hit that post route <laughs> but he gets tackled in bounds uh once again we're just gonna roll our safeties here <clears throat> that's fine if he completes that he's tackled in bounds <clears throat> anything in bounds in the game is over here that's that's how i feel so i'm definitely gonna be shaded outside as we get another loop he doesn't block the running back goes goes hitch nothing doing man the loop was good for the game boys let me know in the comments is loop good for the game you gotta block you gotta respect it he doesn't respect it there he gets screamed at throws the ball up joey porter end the game no fourth and ten back to the u trip so you know i gotta guard yep exactly i'll guard the running back if he goes out if not i'm dropping for the pulse route on from right to left and he goes for streak but chuck woodson cover two zone i mean this is a hell of a play it really is now obviously he probably didn't have a streak on the other side yeah he had a curl so if he goes streak 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 maybe he gets open there but a curl chuck woodson's able to play the middle of the field here hell of a play and there it is ggs let me know if you like these videos man a really tough game like i said one thing that that hurt him i mean i i've run that defense that nickel blitz a million times i know the weaknesses of it Who's going to guard the flat? Who's going to guard the running back? You know, I, I know that. I know how annoying it is to play that defense and how much stress it puts on your adjustments on that defense. So that's what I tried to do when he ran that. Defense, uh, the two-man under might have been the difference. It really was. Uh, like I said, the patch is out now. I played about four hours on the patch, boys. I Just stay tapped in. Stay dialed. I'll keep you guys updated on what I think about the patch. That was game one. More MCS points. Move up the ladders, move up the uh, tournament next round two. Get this video to 500 likes, and we're going to drop round two. And let me know if you guys like these videos, man, the breakdowns. You guys always show loves on them. There's a lot going on on the field, man. I hope you guys are picking up something new every single time.